Hello and welcome to a very special video because today for the first time we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Luminar app for the iPhone. A few months ago we looked at the app that came out for the iPad but it's finally here now for your phone meaning it's easier than ever to get your edits done whilst on the go. And of course it's super easy to share to social media from the app, all it takes is a few clicks. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so this is a photo that we're working with here and it was taken on a snowy night in Gangnam earlier this year. And what I want to do is edit this photo with every single tool that we've got available. So this bar right here that I'm sliding across, that's got all of my editing tools. And we'll try and apply every single one. But for now, let's actually look at the bottom menu. So bottom right here, we've got our presets. And if you've used our iPad app before, you'll have, you'll recognize these. These are all uh, creative film canisters for each preset. But we'll go into detail with those in a bit. This is Sky Replacement Tool. I'm going to do a dedicated video just for the Sky Replacement Tool. Obviously, we don't have a sky present in our image, so there's nothing to do there. Onto the Erase Tool. So zooming in here, I want to get rid of this person. So using this slider, I can adjust the brush size and brushing over this person like so. They have now been erased. Sorry about that. But... Uh, yeah, it's really that quick and simple. So zooming out and saving that, pressing the check at the bottom, uh, we can save those changes. Onto the crop tool here, rotating left and right, if you wish to, to straighten up your images. We've also got crops here dedicated to certain social medias as well as a preset. And then we've also got other options here to rotate and flip. And I'm gonna press the X there to discard my changes. All right, so I think we're ready to get on with the edit. So pressing that button in the bottom middle, I'm gonna go through each of these tools and starting with the enhance tool, you can uh, scroll that all the way to the right to bring that in completely. And my image is very dark, so it's bringing out a lot of those shadows. It's an AI tool, so it's detecting the scene and working out what it needs to do. I'm gonna keep mine at 36. And then we've got the exposure tool here in the middle. And then we've got our highlights here on a dial on the left. I'm going to bring mine down. I'm going to do this roughly. Uh, the whites as well. You can use those. They're, those are on a slider. And the shadows, those are on the dial. So I'm going to bring my shadows down. And then the blacks as well, those are on a slider too. Onto the contrast tool. So straining it all the way out. This curvy line here, straining it out to decrease those contrasts and all the way right to strengthen them. Mine's, I'm pretty happy where mine is right now. Onto the color tool, so we've got our temperature here. Bring it all the way down for cold tones and all the way up for some warmth. I'm going to bring in some cooler tones as I always do for my night images. And then onto the tint here, so bringing in a magenta or green tint, I'm pretty happy where mine is. So I'm gonna leave that in the middle. And then onto saturation and vibrance. So set, uh, we'll start with vibrance actually first. So vibrance up and down to increase and decrease and then saturation left and right to increase and decrease. I'm going to bring mine up ever so slightly because it's looking pretty good already color wise. And then vignetting. So all the way right to bring in those white borders and all the way left for black. I'm going to bring in a subtle black border there. And then onto structure, I use this tool all the time, so I'm happy to see it in the app. So bringing it all the way right to bring out those details or all the way left to soften them. I'm going to bring mine probably a bit more. There we go, like so. Onto relight now. So we're gonna work with the foreground first. So I want to darken my foreground so it can keep some attention on the subject. And then you've got the background being lit or you can actually darken it as well by bringing that torch all the way down. I'm going to probably stick around. Let's have a look, see what works. Because it is bringing more attention onto my subject. That looks good to me. The next two tools are the skin and body tools. Obviously, if you're working with a model or you're working in a studio, these are the tools specially designed for those. We don't really need to use them for this photo here. But if, if you are doing portraiture, then go ahead and give those a try. The golden hour tool, so I use this all the time. Doesn't matter if you're doing uh, landscape or street photography, golden hour tool really brings out your warmer tones in your image, so give those a try. Foliage enhancer for trees and fog. You can see that that's bringing in some fog into the background, or you can dehaze the image as well if you're working with a smoggy photo. I'm gonna bring in a bit of fog 
somewhere around there that'll do all right and then we've got the tone curve tool so this is you know classic tone curve tool have you see, as you've seen in the luminar neo app and on the ipad so i'm going to fine tune my image actually because i want to bring out some of those mid tones and then let's bring up some of those shadows as well like so maybe a bit more yep all right good oh and also we've got the red green and blue as well so full tone curve tool built into the app so you can fine tune your image we also got the sharpen tool here so this is global sharpen but you can also get more control over it with small and medium details on the left and the large details on the right and then finally we've got the monochrome tool so this is a great way to turn your photos into black and white you can obviously just just desaturate them but with this one you get more of a stylized look so it goes through and it finds all of the tones available in your image and brings those out for your black and white shot and yeah, just definitely more stylized than simply desaturating. All right, there you go. Uh, so that's it done. And if you want to see a before and after, you simply hold down your thumb on the screen and then release it. And then other options of underneath this image here, we've got undo and redo buttons. So if I just turn this image black and white, I can just hit that undo button to reset. All right, let's go to the preset tool now. So we've got all of our presets here and you simply click on them. And we can go through all of them here and see which one looks good. I think quite like that Cena. Is that how you say it? Cena. That one looked pretty cool. So it had some nice cool tones in the background there. We're going to go through all of them. All right. And then you can also use this dial here so you can adjust how much strength that preset has from subtle to strong and I'm going to go around about 25 there because I like how that looks. Okay and then when you finish hit the share button where you can save it directly to your camera roll or you can share it quickly to social media or your contacts by hitting the share button. So there we go that is the Luminar app for the iPhone perfect for editing your photos whilst on the go and of course sharing to social media effortlessly. In the next video I'm going to be getting hands-on with the sky replacement tool so be sure to tune into that one but until next time goodbye.